Did you like the painting? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, am, I am most impressed. Beautiful paintings. I, I'm impressed myself <laughs> when I see my painting. <laughs> this is true. How did you, had you always been a painter? Is this something you studied? Yes, I would say yes. I, I, I was, I am self-taught really, basically. But I did have some advice here and there. I, for instance, uh, the, the, the latest gentleman who came to teach art here was Sheiks of, of Virginia. He introduced the acrylic. We didn't know about acrylic. We knew oil. And uh, he, he appreciated my art. So is Gasser, a Gasser from New Jersey. Now, when when was this? Was this when you were young, or was this after you were no, practicing I, medicine? No, I, I, I was here. You know, I, I, I am in Mobile since 1959. So that you... 69, I'm 19, sorry. 1969. 69. That was the year I was married, so that was... 60, 30, 1960. 1960. Been about, about I bought this house in 1960. We used to live here. Now, did, did you not paint until you moved here to, to this country? No. I, I painted, I was, I was born in Cairo, mm -hmm. Egypt. I did some painting there. And I did a lot of drawing. I, I, uh, when, when I went to medical school, I drew my professor. Drew, drew with, 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 the, with the pen. And then I became interested uh, I suppose when I arrived in the United States, because because of the influence of uh, a, a, a lot of artists here, Chicago first. I was interested in in, in watercolor. Now we saw the oils, and were those watercolors at Heron Lakes? Was watercolor paintings, or were those a, those must have been watercolors under glass? Some paintings the, that you the, did. The, one, the majority, most of the, the one that are at the club are, 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 are what, what's the color? And some acrylic. Okay. So, so some acrylic. But there is one oil which is the entrance. Ships. So there is a ship, the seascape. We, we have some. Uh, have some. You, as okay. you enter. Did, did you ever consider art? as a full-time career? Uh, I could not really because uh, I, I am a physician and I was trained for that. I, I, it, is, it, is, uh, it is my profession. Uh, uh, am I filming me at, mm -hmm. at this time? Oh, yes. Oh, I, I was also <laughs> <laughs> But you just, we just do this. We just talk, you and I just look at yeah, each other. Yeah, I, I, uh, I am a physician. Basically and uh, only. However, I, I it was a, a hobby that became serious, really. And uh, I like my style. Uh, uh, frankly, I, I I like my style. I look at some old painting and say, "My God, have I done that?" I like my style. So you are pleased with your early work? Yeah, and I like the style of artists who, who, who study it like mine. Well, they are, there's no question, wonderful paintings. I noticed lots of paintings involving sailing, sea, water. Is, yes. Is this just an interest or is that, is that your mobile background? Water, perhaps, yes. Morbid. I like to paint flowers. I just love flowers. Saw some of those, and I saw the children's portraits in your uh, outer in their waiting room. Up My there. children. My children. I can go back and I can show you. My children. We we might have you do that. I, yeah. I want to switch subjects. I want to talk about your your medical career because that too has been very long. You went. Uh, this is correct. You were in medical school in Cairo at age 19. Actually, 
I was born in Cairo, but I started in Beirut in French. In French, I, I didn't know much English at that time. So the French University of Beirut was a government school, French government. I spent spent three years there. Then I went to move to move to Montpellier, which is the, the oldest school in, in in France, medical school in France. And then uh, then I went to Paris. I spent two three two two three years in Paris. Finished in Paris. French is your native language. Yes. And and then are you uh, you are French ancestry then not not the Egyptian. I'm not Egyptian, no. How did you come to America? During World War II, we had many Americans who, who came to Cairo. Uh, one of them, he's dead now. Uh, Bert Grove was the sec was the was the secretary of the of the Chicago. Uh, school of, of, of natural sciences. I forgot the name. And he, when he saw me, and and he he and he knew me well, he said I should come to the states to teach. He said that to teach to teach what? To, uh, I, I knew I knew I knew uh, at that time acupuncture. At that time. Uh, that, that was in, in 1934, really, I became interested in acupuncture. I became interested in the extra sciences, outside medicine. And we, we, we were talking ab about that, and he was impressed. He, 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 he invited me to come to the state, and he sponsored me. Uh, and uh, the rest of his family sponsored uh, my brothers and sisters. We all came here to the state. She so was in New York. And then did you? And then he brought you to Chicago from New York. Uh, he he was from Chicago. I see. He he was the the secretary of that school. It has a different name now. And he he so I went to Chicago and I couldn't find, not find a a place of internship that, that I liked in Chicago. It was wartime. It was wartime. I had to be in an essential job by the government. And uh, I ended up in, in New Jersey. I, I spent the year at the state hospital in New Jersey. And, and, and in New York, in some hospital here and there. And I practiced. I got my license in New York. Then how did you wind up down south in Mobile? Here, my brother uh, got a job in New Orleans, and he, he, he liked Mobile. See, Mobile is a nice place. So I came here. Were you married at that point? Uh, I was not married at that time, no. I got married in uh, 1960 to a woman I knew in St. Louis, 26 younger than I am. I am 94. Like yesterday, I, I don't think I'm not sure. But you moved here then as a single man. I beg your pardon? Did you, did you come to Mobile then as a, as a single man? Yes, but not for long. Yeah. <laughs> and and now you have a big family. We 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 made six children. Uh, are you here? I'm here. <laughs> uh, this is number four. You are here, uh, uh, number, number four. four. First girl. Yes, they had three boys and then she. The doctor called me and said, "You have a girl." I said, "Very well." You still practice medicine. Uh, what? You still practice medicine here. Oh, yes. 
Do you have a, a specialty that you generally? Yes, I, I am an allergist. I, I allergic diseases. My son disappeared. I, I, I had a shingle, it disappeared. It disappeared after the hurricane, it fell and somebody put it against the house. I did yesterday, it's gone. Now this is a, a good area, it seems to me, to be an allergist because yes. we seem to have a whole yes. bunch. I, I, I opened their noses in 15 minutes. They have a stuffy nose, they come, I, I give them a little injection, open the nose in, in, in 10 minutes. They can breathe. Do you, now you mentioned earlier when we were talking that you were interested in acupuncture and some of the, the non-traditional type medicine. Do you I, still practice I, that? I do practice acupuncture. The, the, the university knows that. I'm not advertising. But the university knows that because some physicians are against it because they don't know much, much, much about it or nothing. Uh, so they go out against it. The, uh, you are remarkable in at having reached 94 and still able to live a, a full life. Do, do you, people are going to watch this and, and right. always ask, people are going to watch the story of you. Yeah. And, and admire you on many levels, one of which that you are yeah. still able to live a nice life at 94. Oh, yes. Do you, do you have advice? Do you ever think about things that you've done, any reason why, or is just... Uh, uh, I, I think of your art, for example, as an important outlet, an important uh, you, you have, you have to have a, a hobby. You could be retired, but you die, you will die early, if, if you retire. In my opinion, you, you you will die of boredom. You have to have a a, a hobby. So happened happened that my hobby is is painting. There are other people who, are, who, have, who have other hobbies. Do you still paint? Oh, yes. What, what sort of subjects are you? Are you still painting flowers, water? Uh, flowers, some commission. So, 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 some commission. So you are painting. earning money as an artist. So what? You, you get paid for some of your paintings. Yes. I, I, I don't seek it, seek it in particular, but if somebody comes and say I have a child who paints, I do paint. Uh, do, do we have a copy, a photograph of some of the paintings I, ma I made? Now we've got some pictures of the, uh, there were some, some portraits out in the, the uh, waiting room that we have taken pictures of, or we will get pictures of. Uh, here, uh -huh. here is a child I painted. I recognize the style. <laughs> the style? Yes. And that is a reproduction of, of one of, of the of, of the Monet girls. This is the painting that, that you have uh, in the bathroom, I said. <laughs> there are six children and we all fight for this painting. That, uh, I, that would, is I would hope so. I would hope so. They are they're just wonderful. Thank you. Just wonderful. I, my favorite at Heron Lakes, though, was the man. Oh, the the man. Yes. That's, he called that one the farmer's uh, side. Here. Can't, can't I take your eyes off that one? Mm -hmm. And then there was an oil. She, she was not of that age. This is a photograph. 
the girl who asked me to to paint was around 30, 35, and she had a photograph of her at the age of two, I think. I, I, it was taken from a photograph. I've got, I've got a question, and maybe my last question, about, about medicine. You have seen incredible change in your career as a doctor in terms of, the, in, on one hand, the major improvements in immunizing and vaccinations against polio that you know, guided our summers in, when I grew up in the 1950s. And we are, and um, among all those, I guess what I am, what, what pleases you the most? Or I, I should maybe rephrase that. What are some of the things that please you the most about what has happened to medicine in your lifetime? Oh, the, the discovery of, co of, of course, antibiotics uh, was well, well, the first f famous discovery. I was in Cairo at that time and uh, we could have saved a lot of lives, uh, but it was not available. The American army was there and they had the, the typhus vaccine, but it was not available for the people. It was available for the people of the army. And I lost a friend like that. I lost a physician's friend, he died of typhus. He was an epidemic of typhus at that time. And uh, and then that so, so so it was. They they were enchanted with some famous people who received antibiotic. It was in the newspaper. Western Church. It was treated with penicillin. We 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 knew that. It was famous at that time. And later on, they developed more antibiotics, as you know. And this was the discovery of cortisone. The cortisone anti-inflammatory. This, this is the major step. Antibiotic cortisone. The, the, vac the idea of the vaccine is not new. Pasteur started that. Very good. Do you all have anything you want to bring out that I haven't touched on? Like I said, just the fact that um, you know, he does have six children, 11 grandchildren. We all love his artwork, and we're very proud of him. Um, I, I want to get our, our homes are all museums. I want to get our, are you brother, sister, husband, husband wife? wife. Son is the only son, okay. well, no, second son-in-law now. I want to get, uh, just a quick comment. Okay. From, from, from one of the... Yeah. Okay, on, okay. On yeah, we'll do that out, okay. out there though. I would like to comment about my statement, physician against it. Not all physicians are ag against it. So some physicians, pr probably less so at this time, but I remember w when I took m my son to a specialist of the throat, and I thought, he, so he asked me, what is your specialty? I said, well, I'm an allergist, and uh, yeah, I also do acupuncture. He wouldn't shake hand with, with, with me. He wouldn't shake hand with me. I, I think you're right. Medicine has changed, softened that, in their that view That hurt me. Yeah. I bet so. He wouldn't shake hand with me. Whereas now I do have references from the university. I know that that is something that the medical community yeah. continues to yeah, I, be more I, liberal. I, I treat backache immediately in the office here. Backache that have existed for a long time to people. They come here with their back, they sit in your chair there, I put needle in their back. For long, not for long, for about five minutes. They get up and they dance in the room. It is true. <laughs> 